Brock Woodstock, and yes, we're live in Woodstock, Illinois, and this is what it's all about. We are discussing the 100th anniversary of the 1923 World Championship New York Yankees, and if you saw yesterday's video, I went over some uh, baseball terminology, some of the more modern terminology, and now we are going to look into what is called... Uh, player value batting and those that will contain some of the definitions that I discussed in yesterday's video so we are talking we will skip the average well the average age of the batters are 28.1 we went through that and now we're going to discuss some of these categories such as our bat the Yankees' number for our bat was eight, which I believe stands for runs batting. Our baser, I don't remember what that stands for, but it's negative five. Double plays are zero, so I think that's good. Runs fielding, 49. Runs from positional scarcity, which I can't remember what that stands for but it's 53, runs above average, 105. That's pretty good, to say the least. If they're getting 105 runs better than the an average team, then they are doing pretty good. Wins above average, 9.3, very good. And some of these I don't remember. Our rep, 202 which seems to be pretty good. Runs above replacement, which would be the runs above an average team. Sure. Well, they said they set the winning percentage of in a team with all meh, average, mediocre players. They said they set, set the winning percentage at 29.4, which is pretty, I don't think any team has ever had a percentage that low. But... That is the set. So they are four or 30 war wins above replacement total for the whole team. 30.4. That is superb. And we are wins above average percentage is 506, which is offensive war, offensive wins above replacement. 26, which is actually mind-boggling. And defensive war of 4.6. Okay, that is phenomenal. Like, you don't understand how good that is. So they had guys who could hit, guys who could pitch, guys who could feel just one of the best teams of all time. I mean, there's no, there's, there's not really, an, there can't be an argument. I mean, this was this was Lou Gehrig's rookie year, I believe. So he had, he didn't, he hadn't even come into his own yet. So just an amazing team, and they only get better when you talk about the 1927 Yanks, which I will not be discussing until 2027 because I'm doing anniversary years and. This is 100 years and then 90 years and then 80 years. You see what I'm doing. But for now, that's it. And I will continue the series tomorrow. And I hope everybody has a great Friday. And like and subscribe if you enjoy this. Or even subscribe if you don't. Because sometimes you might subscribe to a channel you don't like. but And that's okay because you still subscribe. <laughs> But I will see you next time. This has been Brock Woodstock. Thank you for watching.